everyone. Well, I'm here at Two Jack Lake in Banff, Canada, and holy moly, it's pretty cool here. Um, the sun's just setting over here, and I'm I'm standing on a lake right now. This is frozen water. I'm really hoping it's it's stable. I've got my snowshoes on for traction, but I'm just grabbing some shots as the sun's setting. And as you can see, the ice is creating these really cool patterns. And what I'm looking for is a really nice leading line into the mountain. So I'm going to set auto bracketing here to about plus two. Um, just because we've got a lot of light variation. It's really, really bright over here, and there's some dark here, so I want to make sure that I'm getting all that I can in this shot. Um, also, I find that if I get really low, I can pick up some of the texture. The sun's just hitting it from the side here, so I can pick up some of the texture of this really cool ice here. really low. I'm like a penguin or something. Because uh, I found this really this cool piece of ice right here. It's kind of pushing the line over there. And I'm kind of got a little curve in the lip there that I'm trying to capture. The cool thing about the 24 to 70 is that I can also shoot macros with it. So I think I'm gonna actually this one's really cool. Look at this one. The light's just hitting it. That's kind of magical. I'm gonna take the f-stop down to 2.8 just to make that uh, all this stuff that's kind of gonna be out of focus. It's gonna be all bokeh. Bokeh is just a fancy word for out of focus. My belly is getting a bit chilly. <laughs> Okay, so now I've got a lot of these kind of shots, so I'm just gonna grab my tripod and, and pick a spot for sunset. It's actually gonna take quite a while to, to go down and for the clouds above the mountain to get lit up, so it'll give me enough time to, to set up a shot, maybe put on some gloves and another jacket. 